guess where we're going? We're going to the warehouse because at the last minute, as usual, Vincent says, oh, by the way, I have to meet a truck in Tampa bringing all the stuff from Fort Lauderdale over to Tampa Warehouse. So we jumped in the car and we're gonna go see all this great stuff that Vincent is bringing down from Fort Lauderdale that's worth shipping 250 miles and paying to store it. That's what we're doing on a Friday evening while everybody else is having a good time. And I don't know why I open my big mouth. Sometimes it's better not to say anything. I should have just went to the storage, said, hey, I met you at your house, yada, yada. We talked and did all that. I got an appointment. And of course, it's not going to end well for me. Why is that? What are you shipping us, Vincent? I'm shipping you a bunch of stuff that I don't want to store anymore. I hope you didn't ship a bunch of scraps down here. Now I'm storing scraps that I have to pay to throw away. We're going to see when that truck opens. We will see. I don't know. I was on a flight today, so You're there's a, a bunch today. of stuff that we could ship down. So today, it's a, it's a gamble for me, too. It's been a long day on the road. Ooh. You know, it's not brand standard for my hotel. So you're not brand standard. What's that smell? <laughs> those are those boxes in the back that um been actually we've been sitting outside. So they got a little wet. And now they're gonna stink up the whole goddamn storage room with them? This storage room already stinks. So we got a warehouse. Typically, when we buy a hotel, we have to complete a PIP, property improvement plan. But we have to go in, and in many cases, change all the furniture out, and we're talking two to 300 rooms. We have a warehouse to store the good shit that we may be able to use in the future. Turn it into a fucking dump. I'm spending money keeping junk. We need to have a fucking uh, warehouse sale. That's what we need. Vincent's Wonderland. I didn't bring any of this yeah, stuff. Right. I didn't bring anything. I take from here. Yeah. This take. is the one time. A truckload of shit, but you take from This here. is the one time you can say that I take more than I give. Because I take stuff out of here and I repurpose it. I reuse it. These are good enough for my house. Where are the cushions? I know you're gonna stink up this whole place bringing some moldy shit in here. What is what is all that smell coming from? There's a couple boxes that had TV mounts. Throw them away. Wall mounts, no. Throw them away. No, you bought them. And you left them out in the fucking water in the rain. No, not all of them. And now I'm gonna smell the whole them. place with mold. Only a couple of them. So now we're gonna ruin everything that's here with the crap you're bringing yeah, in. Yeah, with the crap I'm bringing in. Look at this shit. Look at that shit. I'm worried about the stuff that smells. What the fuck is this? Rubberized asphalt, asphalt coating. What are we doing with asphalt shit? We hired this shit out. It's not asphalt, it's roof coating. I fought with them, but they said it was a discount item. They won't take it back. Who? Home Depot. They won't take it back, discount item, and I wondered why it was a discount item. They're fucking pretty much expired. It doesn't dry. So what are we gonna do storing it here? We eat it. How much did it cost you a bucket? hundred bucks? Hell no. That shit was cheap. Like... Well, now you know why. 30 bucks a bucket, 30 probably. bucks. 300 bucks worth of shit. You should have fucking just dumped it because we paid that. Just bringing a fucking truck down here. Now I got to put the guy up in a hotel and we got to pay for all the transportation and we got to pay to fucking store it. We take this shit over to your house and store it there. There you go. Oh! It's pumping valves that... Why? Look, there's at least one brand new toilet and two brand new toilets. But I also wasn't there today to load it up, so there might be one or two things I might have to come back Oh, now and you want get. to move it back. Oh, hey, yeah. whatever I got to do. This is a billion around. dollar operation you got going on, buddy. Let's move it all around. Let's keep moving shit. I like to put you in that giant mixer right mix. there. If you need some beautiful, light like, new chairs, Go to AskBen at BenBattle.com and give us a call. We got everything. We got refrigerators. We got dishwashers. We got new chairs coming in today, folks. Look at that. <laughs> Vincent's bringing us a bunch of 
lounge chair so you can sit by the pool. I'm gonna have a meeting in this fucking warehouse with Happy and Ben, and I'm gonna say, today's the fucking day. We're gonna decide what we keep and what we don't need. You take a picture of all these office chairs. You tell them they like new condition. And then even if he takes them and he sells them for $5 a piece, we get rid of them. I don't give a fuck. Oh my God, what the fuck is this? Firewood? Where the fuck did these trees come from? So I asked everybody, who put this refrigerator here? Every single person said Vincent. <laughs> I love that shit. I love that. I fucking love it. Fucking love it. Everybody Where said the fuck Vincent. would I even get that from? Where? Maybe from one of the Where? fucking shitty houses. But you know boy. what? No. Nothing, That's where it looks nothing, like it nothing came from. my stuff has anything to do with your stuff, yeah, first right, of all. Yeah. My name's not Little Ben, okay? My shit doesn't d have anything to do with your stuff. Yeah, right. I made sure of that. <laughs> but you should really look at why everybody would say that. That's what you should really look into. Yeah, they right. must know something we don't know. Fucking bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. Now, when people see me fucking them up, they know why. And let me see who you texted on there. Who, no. Let me see every name you texted on there. All five people came back and said Vince. Fucking bullshit. That's a racist ass <laughs> fucking company. Who brought this here? Did you, you brought this from Willadell, didn't you? Didn't you? This happens to be from Willadell. I was gonna give it to you as a birthday present. No, thank you. I, I Buy a big warehouse and let's do it. I'm not buying no fucking warehouse. I'm not renting to keep garbage in it anymore. This place cost me a couple of grand a month out the fucking window to hold garbage. It's stupid. And we're not gonna have it. And you're gonna figure out a way to try to get some money out of this shit to pay for the cost of getting rid of it. Lock it up and let's get the hell out of this filthy hole hell. Wait, I gotta figure out what they did with my other shipment. Never came, good I baby. I know, I ship pavers here and Craig's guy oh, met no. them. Met them and took the fucking pavers. Why would you do that? I wasn't here. That's the problem. I was in Fort Lauderdale. You fucking coordinate shit to be delivered here. You didn't have nobody fucking meet him, and now they took off fucking pavers or something. And they're buddy. a paver guy. I know like. what they look like. Well, now go fucking out there and find them. Fuck, goddamn. Uber. Did you order Uber? No, I didn't order a fucking Uber. I got a Rolls Royce. Our time hasn't been that bad together. Maybe I'll need an Uber after the next 10 minutes. One thing that we fucking could use is pavers. He fucking ships them. He don't fucking tell nobody, hey, I got a truck coming. You better meet the pay me and meet my truck because I got pavers coming in. No, the fucking truck driver drops them here and these guys are sitting here in a million dollars worth of pavers. Hey, I had a truck like that one that was just here come like a week or two ago and he dropped off some pavers. But the fucking garbage that he brings down here, I gotta come over here to receive. The important shit is nobody here to receive. Thank you. Are you able to put them all the way up on the thing for us? You know what? But now on, the storage department is now part of the retail department. And you are responsible for the storages. Don't pawn it off on me. Uh, we didn't know. They don't know, how the fuck they know? There's a place full of pavers, how the hell are they gonna know? Thank you, thank you. Here, thanks a lot. Thank you, man, I appreciate it. send a couple more left, too. There's more? Yeah. All right, I don't want to get you in trouble, but I'll hook you up with some cash. Can you move this shit over here for me? Yeah, no, I got you, yeah, yeah, I got you. I appreciate it. There you go, shit. I should have did a consult with Ben. should have. Fucking stupid. Yeah. Get him doing some physical work for a change. Maybe he'll learn. What the fuck is this shit? We don't know what the fuck's coming next. The reason they're in brown boxes right there is because when the guy delivered them, the pallet that they were on was faulty. So we ended up putting them in these boxes right here. Uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything about my sons is faulty. Wait till you see what the fuck he shipped here. What the fuck are we gonna do with a half broken fucking paver? Why would he even ship this shit? There is no way I would have shipped any of this shit here. I would have thrown all this shit away. So you really do exist, Mr. Ben Mother. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like seeing Bigfoot. How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Pretty good, except my son, my brilliant son here, wants to bring me all this shit from Fort Lauderdale instead of dumping it there. He wants me to pay to bring this shit 250 miles, pay to store it, and we don't fucking need it. 
That he, makes a whole lot of sense, don't it? You know, that's why you can't spoil your kids. Man, let me tell you something. You mind? That, I, I'm, I, listen, we're both big guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the biggest fucking lunchbox I ever I seen. I got you, man. Look here. Let me tell you something. <laughs> he got some lunch you, in this motherfucker, you put boy. In 12 and 14 hours a day? Yep. Come on now. Us big guys. Yeah, gotta we got to eat. We got to keep come eating. On, come on now. Mama, don't let me leave home without it. What was in it today? Um, Chicken salad, because I'm trying to Ooh, come down a little chicken bit. salad. I like you know, chicken salad. The older, the older we get. I know, it's getting you know, hard. It, man, we can't, we can't do know. the same things we did. I know, and our wives don't like that shit. No. <laughs> we can't keep our eyes happy. We're going to be fucked up because we ain't got shit else. All right, nice meeting you. What's your my, name? My name is uh, my name is Archie. Archie? Yeah. All right, holy motherfucking shit. Look at the size of this motherfucker's ass. <laughs> if he hits you, your ass is knocked out. <laughs> All right, man, it was good All meeting right, you. you. Have a great that. weekend. You Thanks. Too. Thanks for watching. Oh, now you know. Hard labor, baby. Hard fucking labor. Thanks to your brother. On the way home from the warehouse, Paulie mentions to me that for the past week, he's had a problem at the shopping center. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you got to say about the Sheridan? This is fucking trying. crazy. Paulie, you really outdone yourself with this one. <laughs> Here we are in our shopping plaza, okay? I believe because of the hurricane and had power outages, something happened with the power here. How long has this been going on? Since September 21st. So, you know, we're running a disco shopping center here. And what have you done? You talked to the electric company or what? Numerous times. They've been coming out and uh, it hasn't been resolved. And they, they're supposed to call me every time they come up, but I don't get a phone call. So I don't know what else to tell you and what else to do. I've been on the phone last night, today, and they keep saying, Let's have an outdoor disco. Let's get some music out here. At the tone, please record your message. Yeah, hi. My name is Ben Mal. I don't know if you remember it. We have a shopping center in Largo, and the lights are blinking. They're not blinking. They're strobing. This is not blinking. And, uh, you He's know, we mad. definitely know it's a problem with the power going in. If this was my hotel, he wouldn't be on the phone all nice and calm. What the fuck, Vincent fucking shit up? Got the fucking place looking like a 1990s rave. What the fuck is going on? You know, it's pretty bad. If you can help me, I really appreciate it. Direct me to the right person. You know, I know with the hurricane and all the emergency stuff going on, but the problem is somebody's going to look at it as an opportunity to sue me. <clears throat> this not my property. <clears throat> this not my problem. But I'm going to help. That was a big shot of Duke Energy. Because I ain't no big shots. When I need to get something done, Sometimes you well, gotta call a big shot. Let me talk to him so I can explain it to It him. was a lady that's like a big shot in the company. She doesn't come out and fix this shit. She's gonna call dispatch, but she's a big shot and try to get him out now. Are you allowed to cut some lights off and oh, block really off some of the parking lot? Cut off some of these lights and you know this guy, you know, somebody don't tell me this guy ain't living in his truck and that's his trailer. I got you six. Yeah, he's sleeping in there, I'm sure. He can't be sleeping with this shit going on out here. Hello? Hello, security. Anybody in there? They're in the trailer. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I'm with security for the property. I can't have anybody sleeping out here. And it smells like piss over here. Sorry, sir. I don't I don't want to call the cops. Can you please move your vehicle to the Walmart? The Walmart is 24 hours a day. Hey, Come on. You're gonna, you're gonna get towed if you don't do it now, okay? Oh, I'll get the police here. Come on. Then you, you got... have to show them all your registration and everything, and they're going to give you a trespassing uh, violation. Because I'm going to trespass you. This is bullshit. I've been telling my electrician just to give him a heads up. He might be able to figure it out. Hey, John, how are you? So anyways, I have my electrician out here, and it's a three-phase. The middle phase is only drawing 46, when the other two are drawing like 282 and 286. If it's a three phase and you got a low leg, then that's definitely what's causing it. Right, so. yeah, exactly. Tell him about the power, sir. I like, just did. Oh, you he did? Knows what I'm talking like, about. Like, two of them were coming in at two something. He knows. I told him. Weren't you listening? No, I wasn't. Well, then he's getting I don't know. You can't make this shit up. You just can't. It's ridiculous. We got people living in the parking lots. We got blinking lights. What the hell is Paulie doing? He ain't doing his goddamn job, is he? Uh, 
This is what you gotta do. Midway Plaza security, hello. Are they gonna get up? I'll be back here, I'm in town now, baby, I'm in town. Same shit we deal with in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, everywhere. Florida is just, is, you're able to live outside now. What is it, 70 fucking three? This is like perfect weather. Right here, I got you. Hello, sir, how you doing? Hey, I'm with the uh, security for the shopping center. I can't have anybody parked back here at all. Are you sleeping in the van? No, I'm watching YouTube. You're watching YouTube? Yeah. All right, well, you can't be loitering back here. I'm sorry. Hello? I'm with the shopping center security, sir. I can't have nobody sleeping back here. Thank you. The Walmart, Walmart is welcoming people. Walmart. Thank you. This idiot speed through and you're right in the middle. You're not gonna be able to squeeze through it. Are you stupid? Oh, shit, I know what you mean. Trust me, we got people sneaking into the hotel, sleeping in the fucking lobby. I mean, we deal with the same... Shit's crazy. I'm surprised Tampa probably has most. Don't say we don't spend no fatherly son and father time together. I'm having a great time, Dad. This is great. Hello, shopping center security, airport security. Oh, shit! Scary ass or fall. <laughs> All right, there's only bed bugs on there. Mall cop. First the electrician says, oh, it's the power company. Then the power company says, no, it's electrician. Well, we had to figure out we're not getting nowhere. What is the real problem here? Luckily, the power company identified exactly what the problem was. We communicated that to the electrician. We got the electrician out there and had it fixed the very next day. But it took me to do it. It shouldn't have went on for a week. If you're thinking about getting into real estate or what to do with the real estate you got, get me on the phone. Let's do a call. Let's talk about it. Go to Consult with Ben. BenMallon.com slash shop. Consult with Ben today. Subscribe. Watch another video. Adios, amigos.